The newest acquisition to the Key West Harry's Truman Foundation and the Truman Little White House is a 1950 presidential limo. This limo is one of nine that were situated at different cities throughout the United States for use by the president when he would travel to different locations. Because back in that period, the presidential limousine did not travel on the, on the presidential plane. President Truman made 11 presidential visits to Key West, totaling 175 days of his presidency, essentially running the United States right here from the Key West Little White House. One of the things that makes the Little White House Museum unique, it is Florida's only presidential museum. The house is, is full of artifacts that are from the president's period. It's said to be close to 90% of the furniture and the, the furnishings that are inside of the house were actually here during the president's time. And one of the most remarkable pieces from that is the poker table. People can't actually ride in the authentic presidential limo by participating in the White Glove Tour. It is a, an exclusive experience for up to six visitors. The White Glove Tour gives guests an opportunity to handle personal effects of the president, to learn more about the VIPs that visited here, to, to just really get more of an immersive experience finished with a tour in one of the presidential limos. Some of the unique features with the Truman Limo is for one, there's a divider line that separates the president and any of the passengers from the driver. There's also an, an intercom system where the president could have direct communication with the driver. I have been told by guests that have toured that it was one of the most special moments in their trip to Key West. That riding in the limo around Old Town was just one of the most magical moments of their trip to the island.